and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for an elemental aggro deck that doesn't have Risen Reef in it. I know that was the thing that I was pretty surprised about when I was looking at the deck list also um, with this donation deck, but we're trying to be more aggressive, I suppose, so we don't have Risen Reefs. I know, I know you may be thinking that could just be wrong, but it's nice to try different things. We we know how good Risen Reef is. We know that it's it's you know one of the very best cards in standard. We know it's spectacular. But let's try to go lower to the ground and see how it works without playing that card. So we have um, as you can see here, we're we're really gruel based uh, for the most part. We have our our one drop Scorch Spitter, which actually is probably going to do a little more than what it looks like. It's just it's just this little lizard, but I actually I'm kind of excited to play this card. Um, we got Steamkin, which is an elemental. Don't forget about that one. Hey, Aesthetic. Aesthetic? Aesthetic. There we go. Let's go with that. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub there. Um, our first sub of the day. And we have another card that looks pretty interesting. To Another new card to try out here. Lightning Stormkin. Gives us some reach in the air. A 2-mana two 2-2 two -two Flying Haste is a pretty good rate. Like, that's that's a pretty good aggressive creature, um, you know, that, that can end games pretty quickly. And we have a lot of ways to pump up our creatures. We got the Trailblazer that pumps up the Elementals. Domri pumps up Elementals and can be some removal spells for us. Chandra also can pump up our Elementals. So we're going to want to try to get, like, a, a lot of these, like, little Elementals in there, being aggressive, pumping them up. Um, of course, we got three mana Chandra. This card is just awesome. This has been this is one of my favorite cards in the set. Uh, the the zero ability to put two red elemental creature tokens is obviously very powerful in this deck with all these ways to pump them and wanting to have more elementals in play for Omnath to be able to deal damage to any target. Remember, Omnath gets to go upstairs also, so we can burn people out with Omnath. Uh, getting a trigger if we have like four or five elementals especially with the help of chandra do damage upstairs and then the card that we're kind of playing uh, instead of risen reef we have overgrowth elemental here this card was one that whenever we played the neoform elemental deck a few days ago that i was actually really impressed with and uh liked it quite a bit so being being that it's more on the top end of our strategy here is going to be beneficial to us because of that that first ability of putting a one one counter on an elemental you control should be able to we should be able to get that uh, more than I was before because we have one drops we have twelve two drops hopefully base every time that we play this on turn three um, or you know later but every time we play this hopefully we get to put a, a counter on one of these things and grow it it works especially well with Steamkin of course putting counters on Steamkin. And then, you know, we have whenever the other creature you control dies, we gain a life and then put counters on Overgrowth Elemental. That life gain can certainly be relevant when in racing situations. And so every time that we zero a Chandra, put a couple Elementals in, we do sacrifice those so they will die. And then they'll be growing the Overgrowth Elemental as well. Make that thing real big. Um, so that's, that's, what, uh, that's what we're doing here. Uh, looks pretty sweet, so we're going to be go ahead and be low to the ground and see how it works out. Um, yeah, let's get some elemental aggro in. First deck of the day. Kicking off our weekend. As you can see here on the left, we've got two donation decks to do today. That we're going to be playing with elemental aggro and then Mardu control. And then I'm going to go ahead and head on over to ranked. I haven't done any ranked on stream since uh, Corset 2020 released. And I'm going to take uh, the Grixis control deck that we played the very first day of M20, and it felt good. I'm going to go ahead and take that deck over to ranked. And then uh, Gruul midrange with new Vivian, new Chandra. Gruul got some new mythics. We're going to try that over in ranked as well. So we'll get some, some good challenges. Here also. Hmm. So we do have the Creeping Trailblazer that we get to play here. But of course, we don't have blue mana. And we have two four mana cards. With having with having London Mulligan rule, I think this is I think it's gonna be okay to mulligan this. I think 
this hand may not work too well for us. Well, that's just really unfortunate. Okay. So we're definitely getting rid of a breeding pool. Can we can we get away with keeping just two lands? And keep this five card hand. And just then hope we draw two other lands. It's either that, of course, or get rid of the Omnath and, and keep this land here. It's a tough decision. I think I'm going to keep the third land. Sure, 23 land? Yeah, we have a 23 land deck. I'm going to keep the other land here. Well, that is unfortunate. First draw, immediately land. So it's not really a new Vivian, it's a 2019 reprint. What, what do you mean a... It's not a new Vivian. It's a 2019 reprint. I don't understand. So Overgrowth Elemental growing the, the Stormkin's kind of nice. I guess, I guess that growing it didn't really matter that much. So we basically have a 4-3 here instead of drawing a card like Risen Reef would have. Which may not be ideal after mulligan to 5. No, we have a lot of Planeswalkers and everything. Um, I don't think Unclaimed Territory would really fit in the deck too well because it wouldn't let us cast our our planeswalkers or our sideboard cards. It's kind of the, the problem with unclaimed territory is you just have to be just completely um, focused on the tribal synergies and, and even like sideboard wise and everything. Ah, uh, yes, I, I didn't pull, pull up Deckmaster. Thanks, Feature. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. We don't need Frenzy mainboard. Netman, we, we're on a mulligan to five, which is why our hand isn't spectacular, but... There's, there's no reason to play Frenzy instead of... Risen Reef, though. You will not dissuade me from battle. Uh, try, try refreshing the stream for Deckmaster. Maybe uh, it should be up and everything now. Cool, it works now? Good. 
Does deck I think Deckmaster has the new cards. That's why that's what uh, somebody said in the Discord channel. Are y'all seeing the new cards in in uh Deckmaster now? I didn't even notice. I wasn't really paying that close attention. I didn't even notice that Dovin's Veto had a new animation. I didn't even notice that. Um, a deck that stands out in standard currently... Would probably be blue green ramp. Like blue green risen reef ramp. Uh, you know, like that could be like bant. Uh, it could be just blue green. There's like diff there's different payoffs you can be playing with it. Um, but that's that's something that's really standing out right now. Open mind. Naya Feather is, I don't know, it's okay, it's a deck. It's not one I've ever been too high on. But honestly, I may just be too low on the deck overall. Maybe better than what I'm kind of giving it credit for. Hey, Delotrius. I've tried a vampire deck that, and I, I really liked it. It felt it felt quite strong. Uh, I haven't tried it with aristocrat style cards though. Oh, yeah, the the Soren Imperious Bloodlord is a really strong card. Uh, well designed and everything too. I really like that Soren. I will uh, gladly point out your I don't really understand your question, Leo. You know, this tech gimmick is worth it. Their hearts coming from the, the cat now? Certainly feels like they have another Dovin's Veto for how they've been playing. But I'm really far behind, so... I think we might as well just play this Chandra Pyromancer and just hope that maybe they don't. I don't think it's... it's not really worth holding on to. Let's absorb. Because of how far behind we are. What I was going to be doing with the card, I was going to be doing the minus two and dealing two damage to Hero Precinct 1 if it resolved. 
All right, thank you so much, Magic Harry. Thanks for that uh, resub there. Keep it on that streak. Thank you so much for that continued support there. I appreciate that. A green red ramp deck. Not just a gadget, but ingenuity. I think I don't know of a specifically a green red ramp deck. Blue green basically has is like what people are using for ramp decks these days. The green red deck that we're going to be playing later has eight mana creatures and three domries that help ramp and everything gets to big chandra there's that deck list there hey, hey what's up rank one thanks for that support happy saturday hey elijah Definitely see trying to be a frenzy deck here. So we're going to want some more removal to be able to kill deputy detentions, kill hero precinct ones. This may be too much removal, though, honestly. Hey, Sir Tails. The tier two sub. Thank you so much. We're getting a lot of hype today. Thank you all very much. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see if we can keep a seven card hand. Let's see if we get a, a better hand than what we just had. Okay. Because, yeah, our, you know, like after we were at five five cards, it was really tough to keep up there. Okay, these shock lands are going to be around until next fall, fall of 2020. So they're going to be around for a while. The lands that leave this fall are are these lands, the buddy lands, the ones from Ixalan and Dominaria. Uh, so the Hinchelin Harbor, Sulphur Falls, th those cycle, those 10 lands will not be available anymore this fall whenever rotation happens won't lie i'm a pretty great hand don't worry i brought company you go to the uh whoops you go to the site there i thought i had a I thought i had a command for that Did that command leave Oh, it's rotate. Oh, thanks, Sin, Sin Christ. Yeah, so it's rotate. There you go. If you head over there to whatsinstandard.com, that should help uh, describe what's happening with rotation if you do not 
understand rotation. Hopefully that helps. But whenever the next Magic set is released, which is going to be in September or October, hasn't been announced as far as I know right now, whenever that set is released, then Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, and Core Set 2019, those four sets will no longer be legal and standard. So you'll not be able to play any cards from any of those sets anymore. What is going on? They just moved to discard and discarded a Sulphur Falls. What is going on? I'm pretty sure my opponent gave up on this game. We're good. I, I don't think they got disconnected. There's nothing in the deck that Cavalcade of Calamity is better than. There's, there's not really a reason to play Cavalcade of Calamity. Yeah, I decided that um, get him, buddies. with the Grixis deck, I uh, basically kind of decided that Mu Yanling wasn't wasn't quite good enough uh, there for that specific for that specific deck, or not really too necessary. But with, Grixis does lose to like some of the overpowered cards the top end of different decks, you know, Manipulation, Command the Dread Horde, all that kind of stuff. Um, and there's a little less Teferi, little Teferi running around these days. And Crixus can still handle little Teferi a little bit. Also, I just felt like I wanted an extra counter spell. I kind of felt like, kind of feel like counter spells are being just slightly underplayed right now. And I wanted an extra negate. And so, yeah, made that change. I'm going to take out these spitters on the draw for the trailblazers. The spitter is probably just going to trade with a 1-1 a one -one from Hero Precinct 1 too often. I am not aware of that deck at all, the wise. Um, I I don't know anything about it. I uh, you can see the the Grixis list that I that I'm playing. You can see it right there in, on the Stream Decker page. Huh. That was a really, really strange game. Well, we had a really nice curve out game, too. I don't know what happened with our opponent. But, you know, we had our one drop creature into Steamkin into Chandra there, the game, too. It looked pretty strong.
leading with breeding pool here because we have basic mountain so it's, it's probably more likely that we draw an untapped red source than an untapped blue source there's not a whole lot of blue in our deck so i'm going to get the blue land down immediately in case we do draw the untapped red source Is this opponent playing now? Is there something wrong with like connection issues on arena today or something? I don't I don't know what's going on. Hmm. This is crazy. This is really, really weird. Hopefully we get some good games here soon with this deck. Does Overgrowth Elemental look better than Risen Reef here? You know, like if we were like playing a regular game, would we want to play the Overgrowth Elemental, put a counter on the Stormkin, so Stormkin be attacking for three? Or would we rather have our opponents highlighting their graveyard and stuff? Or we'd rather have that trigger of you know drawing a card, or if it's a land, putting it into play, and you know digging through our deck, getting more cards and everything. You know, we would have drawn two cards there, for example. Well, four cards. We would have drawn four cards here. If we had, you know, play another Risen Reef and then play this thing. It's just not... The overgrowth elements, they are they are kind of aggressive, but it's it's not worth four cards that we would have like had there, for example. Alright, so we're playing against Grixis. Veil of Summer. I mean, well, maybe playing against Grixis, we'll see. If we get to play. Uh Veil of Summer. Um definitely very good in this matchup. Love me some Vine Mare here too. Vine Mare dodging. Uh, Ritual of Soot is pretty key. The fries do take out both, uh, both boluses, so let's get fries in here. And frenzy is just a card that Grixis really, really struggles against. Um, I'm gonna trim Omnaths. I guess all of them, some of them. Don't even have just tons and tons of four mana stuff. Uh, fight with fire is kind of cool, actually. I kind of like the fight with fires. Let's get those in here, and we'll take out shocks. And then am I getting rid of Scorch Spitter, Steamkin, Trailblazer, Elemental? I think I can cut one of these Domries. Maybe even two of the Domries. We're probably not really doing the fighting. Let's get rid of two of these Domries. And. No, I kind of like Spitter. An Overgrowth Elemental and a Steamkin. Hmm. Probably not Steamkin. 
Trailblazer. You said I would have drawn two and cycled two? I mean, you don't do any cycling with Risen Reef. You just draw cards. It's, I mean, it's it's technically better than drawing cards because lands you put into play instead of putting them in, into your hand. So it's just, it's strictly better than drawing. But no, the deck's not about the value path. You're you are correct there. Yeah, our deck's not really about the value path. Um, the rate though is just so incredible. Because it's not, because like I said, it's it's just, it's strictly better than drawing cards, and it's for every single elemental you play, including the triggers that you get from Chandra. You're playing at the moment, your opponent seems really slow slash weird too. Hey J-Jack, yeah, day's going good. There goes the Von Mayer. The mayor of Vineville. The Vine Mayor. It's good to try different cards, though. Um, but yeah, there's, and, you know, we understand, like, the, the thought behind it, you know, wanting to have an aggressive, a more aggressive card with this being an aggro deck. We'll be playing. We'll be playing a good amount of real mid range today. Don't don't you worry. I think that's my best line here where this Chandra can still stay alive. Nope. Don't like that. If it was Risen Reef, I would have played the spitter and this, and we would have you know, Risen Reef would have drawn another card, or we would have drawn three other cards. Having an extra three cards right now would be pretty nice. The Chandra would be dead, the Reef and the Spitter would be dead, though. But anyway, another novice Pyromancer, very good draw. I call my fists Pyromaster and Firebrand. Gets to team up with the first I'm Chandra. Nice to meet you. novice Pyromancer to take down this Bolus. So that's very good for us. Are the seeds of this is really good at fighting both Bolas and Ugin whenever they're minusing. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? Go get them, buddies. Been really impressed with that novice pyromancer. Like this card, I knew was good. Like this card's good. Like knew it, you know, even like in the set review, everything like that. I wasn't expecting this card to be nearly as good as it is. 
or has been. But it really it really has been impressive. Like the five starting with the five loyalty, having the minus this minus two ability has been really good. I like this card quite a bit. No, we don't have any cavalcades in here. Hey Z, yeah, the Rakdos Aristocrats from yesterday. That was a lot of fun. We are but moats in a hmm. vast multiverse. I guess that would have been a reason to hold on to the spitter. So I'm burnt out. Ghost fire. Be a long, long time. Salvatas! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there. Where are my hype boats at? Sub number five on the day. My Twitch chat just, just went out a little bit. I had to refresh that. If you said something a little... If you said a message before I just put those hype boats in, I, I missed it. For anybody there. So in case I'm not responding to your question. Ugin takes out Frenzy. Will guide you towards victory. Another your past is unwritten. Alright, we're gonna be on the play here for game three. I'm gonna take out the other Domri, get the Omnath back in here. All right, Scorch Spitter, do some work for us. Just a cute little lizard. Okay, good draw. Good at draw, getting our land drops. With us having Frenzy, even though I'm playing... Alright, so basically I'm playing into... Uh, cry the Cronarium here, but with us having Frenzy, I'm emptying the hand. If these Overgrowth Elementals were Risen Reefs... Um, we would not have Frenzy in the sideboard. Like, you, would, you wouldn't want to have Frenzy in the sideboard in a Risen Reef deck. Those two don't work too well together. So just saying, if you if you if you're planning on picking up the deck and putting in risen reefs, don't you know replace the frenzies with something else like, for example, four mana Chandra. That's a really good draw. Hmm. 
No. All right, Frenzy, get this done. Hmm. Yeah, Veil of Summer doesn't work that well with Frenzy either. Hey, Telstar. Yeah, we got some elementals going on here. Playing against Grixis. Our opponent has stabilized, but we have a Frenzy. So, um, you know, Frenzy does have the ability to pull us back ahead if we can get some better hits than what we've had so far. But pretty soon, we'll stop hitting lands. Pretty soon. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. Our opponents are sure they should certainly master. be taking up Nicol Bolas here. Now we get to kill it. Alright, Vinemare is nice. Vinemare cannot be blocked by black creatures. So, Nicol Bolas the Ravager is a black creature. So, unblockable here. Now, you just gotta give Frenzy a little bit of time. It's getting there. Yeah, no ceilings. White Black Vampires is a good deck. Yeah, that's a good one. Hmm. All right, so they do have the ability to flip as can to this next turn. BTK, welcome back. Thanks so much there. Wow, BTK, sub number six on the day. Um... Yeah, I'm not I'm not exactly sure Alexis Bros there. 
Let us march into battle and make new comrades. All right, Liliana. A little death never hurt anyone. We are. They were a lousy servant anyway. Not won this yet. So we can put them down to one. It's probably safer just to get Liliana out of here. Death news. Time to go. So the reason why I, d I decided to shock in here because of three mana Chandra. You know, three mana Chandra ends the game. So I wanted to make sure that we had like the three mana for the Chandra. And then uh, before we played the Frenzy. I know 88 ways to defeat, meditate, and prepare. Well, that's really scary. All right, we're going to need to hit a bunch of spells here. Let's get some spells. Perfect. That's a great one. That's another great one. And there we go. Perfect. We got Stormkin and Steamkin. So we're 2-0 and now, but that was technically the first game we won. We're one and two in games played here. Um, had some connection connection issues and everything. I mean, there's the game two we were probably going to win, but the game two of the last match, but our opponent didn't actually play, so it wasn't really a game. All right. Hopefully we get a good match here, good um, match, no connection issues. Love it. Two drop into Chandra, I'll take it. It's just what should my two drop be? May take six damage here. You know, may go shock, shock, shock. Shock, shock, shock. Do, 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 do. Shock, shock, shock. Shock, 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 shock. I suppose it should be Steamkin. All right, so does our deck beat Risen Reef?
I'm not sure if I should have gone with the Stormkin instead of the other Trailblazer. <sighs> Won't lie. I'm a pretty great partner. Say hi to my fiery friends. All right. Good job, Steamkin. Getting that early mana. All right, we took down the Risen Reef. So they're playing Sultai. I'm definitely playing this melody. What else are we doing? Are we fight with firing? I think we're going to cut these Scorch Spitters for removal. I'll play the one spitter. Risen Reef's a good card, but it's basically three mana. Draw one on a bad stick. There's also the fact that I think Band Simic and Dread Horde will simply go OTP against Risen Reef. I don't know what OTP means, but... Um... Yeah, it's it's just a draw. Yeah, it doesn't. Risen Reef doesn't really attack. Um, and yes, it's a draw one by itself, but it's just whenever you pair it with everything else, it's it not only draws one, but then it makes every single other card in your deck draw one. Your Chandra activation draws two. And the amount of cards you get is just pretty pretty silly. I guess I'm going to have to just start attacking for two every turn here. Ah, oh, it's over the top. So they're four color elementals. They got their own Locus of the Royal over there. Not keeping Nissa. I thought they were gonna be keeping that card for sure. Hmm. They have cast down. Why would you possibly not attack with Wild Growth Walker? Okay, there they go. It's like, what are you doing? Oh no, Sir so Eulen Drake. Well, that card's whatever. All right, well then, the mulligan and see eight lands and three spells, because of course we put the land on the bottom. I don't think that's beating turn two, wild growth, turn three, jade light, turn four, double two, drop, turn five, Nyssa. I don't think that's beating that. The land shall conquer you.
All right, let's go to the next game. I think the only other card in our sideboard that could maybe help us would be Spell Pierce. If we can, you know, counter a Command or a Nissa and, you know, early on kind of thing. But, of course, these games can go a little later. I guess we're not going to really be able to compete in a later game, though, so maybe I should just be playing it. I would play it over the that one, like, Scorch Spitter. I'd, yeah, I should probably have a Spell Pierce in there, but... It's all good. We don't have it in hand. Got a pretty nice looking hand here. Try to go through the air. So we can go Overgrowth this turn, then Domery, then Steamkin. I'm planning on putting that together tomorrow, Aura Sonic. Uh, I had a donation deck yet, or I had a donation yesterday to to put together a new Arcbow deck. Um, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm planning on spending tomorrow morning, uh, afternoon, you know, tomorrow morning. I'm going to spend a few hours on on that. No, see what keys I don't. All right, well, I was going to be playing Domri to kill the Risen Reef, but now we can just have Omnath kill the Risen Reef, where uh, if I would have had the Domri kill it, um, then our Domri would have one loyalty and be um, vulnerable to the Drake. So Omnath, good good draw there. my entire life explains a lot actually so of course they can just okay they're just gonna kill that they can block the other two I'm not maximizing the Steamkin. I have way too many of that Sir Eulandre card in their deck. We 
are the many. Yeah, like, this card's just not very strong. 1-1 one, one is just not, it doesn't do very much. It just kind of sits there, can block something for a little bit, but that's that's so it. It just many watches so your hard. opponent go around it. Yeah, 1-1s one, are just not good enough for standard, even with the protection and stuff there. That still isn't that big of a deal. Whatever cards our opponent took out of their deck, we're probably going to be more impactful than those. Anyway, uh, Madib, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, our seventh sub already on the day today. We're two away from yesterday. Yesterday we got up to nine already in our first, our first deck, our first hour and a half on the stream here. So... Thank you so much, Madid. I hope you're. In, I hope you uh, enjoy the emotes that you get for subscribing. I think yeah. To play the Drakes, you have to have some way to to pump them up. Whether you're playing ways to put counters on them, um, playing them in mono blue where you can put Curious Obsession on it, and you just have a, a creature with a Curious Obsession on it that you never have to worry about again. You said Krasis is a zero zero in his grain standard. Well, you can put some counters on a Krasis, as far as I know. So of course the plan was to shock in here and then you know place Spitter into double Trailblazer, but against Basic Mountain, we went against that plan. Hmm. I don't think my one mana one one and my two two mana two twos are gonna win a game of constructed magic. So I guess I should have mulliganed this hand. This wasn't good enough. That was my bad. Hey, what's up, Grazer? Found this on the floor. I think it's yours. <laughs> Thanks for the cheers, there, Grazer. I appreciate that. All right, I think I should have mulligan my hand. I don't know. We did have a, you know, turn turn one, 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 but it turns into a two, one. So one mana, two, one, the next turn. And then the next turn, it would turn into a three, one, and then a three, two. Yeah, it wasn't necessarily a, a mulligan, but... Okay, against you know just a, a room control deck, having a clock like that. Not really against a feather deck. Fry isn't killing a lot of things, but it does kill some things. Hmm. 
I'm gonna take out the novice pyromancer. At least one novice pyromancer. And then which one of these creatures are we cutting? Is it just gonna be the spitter? Yeah. I don't think we really want spell pierce here. Like their their spells only cost one mana, so actually, so piercing stuff is kind of tough. But then with when they have feather, the card goes back to their hand anyway. So even if you counter it, like they just get it back. I don't think we really want spell pierce here. Uh, no, I haven't played a gate shift deck. Um, I think I like Steamkin more than the the new. I don't remember the name, but the question is: Is Steamkin better than the one-two Haste Elemental that re can recur some things from the graveyard? And yeah, I like Steamkin more in this deck. There's there's honestly not very many things to recur in this deck with that one-two, but. We played a Neoform Elementals deck previously, and uh, that was playing that one two, and I was I was really disappointed with that one two. It, it did not feel like a very good card. I think I think you have to really really build around it to to play it. I don't think you just put it in a regular deck with a bunch of two twos and three twos and stuff like that, and get very much value from it. Let's give this a try. Harbor is a good draw. Uh, it, it does come into play tapped, uh, which means I'm going with the Stormkin after my steamkin here but it's the second green or second blue that we need for melody and it's the green that we need for these so it's definitely a good draw well playing stormkin just doesn't make any sense because they just they just attack and kill it that doesn't make any sense to play that card I feel like I have to take the 10th District Legionnaire. So I'm not not going to beat the 10th District Legionnaire. I don't really know how I'm going to beat the Arcanist either, though, honestly. It at least kills us slower. Gives us more time to find something.
I don't have very much I can do here. I was definitely hoping they would use Reckless Rage for some reason. I don't know why they would use Reckless Rage, but I was definitely hoping they would. I need to attack last turn. All right, well, this is their last removal spell in the graveyard. Doesn't really seem worth it to fry an honor guard. Uh, it does definitely mean I wish I would have taken the Arcanist, um, but I think we would would have already been like, um, like this thing would have either killed us or not died to the fry with only five damage. Yeah, the the Mardu control is a donation deck. That's not my list that we'll be playing after this. It was like whenever you see DD next to the decks, then those are decks that were donated. They were not ones that I put together. So you can see the difference there. Uh, I mostly do that because a lot of times people are like, why are you playing this? Why are you playing this? Why are you, why are you not playing this? And, and so on. And it's, it's not really a list that I put together. Hmm. All right, moving on. I think our deck may need some more removal in the sideboard. After playing that match, we didn't really seem like we had a chance.
All right, basically doing this shocking in here because of light at the stage. Uh, if we're going to be like taking the damage anyway, so we might as well uh, kill the lava runner. Uh, it really hurts their light at the stage, hurts wizard's lightning, all those kind of cards. Um, then here I'm just passing. I don't want to give them a good outlet to use this two mana. <laughs> Key! Ah, thanks for the tears. Key Tato. That's a cute little, little emote and everything, too. Thank you. This is this is a pretty awkward play against Chain Whirler. They didn't play a land last turn, so they would have to top deck a land and also have a Chain Whirler in hand. Yep, looks like they were sitting on Wizard's Lightnings. Ooh, no. Not Wizard's Lightning. It's Firebrand. Hmm. So I could I could technically use the fight with fire here to kill the firebrand and make it light up the stage if in hand a worse card. That doesn't really seem worth it though, right? We'll see. We'll see if we regret that. I don't think they have light up the stage since they played their mountain first, though. Or they do. Dang, they didn't hit two lands. Wish they would have just hit two lands off there because they couldn't play either one. Go, Trailblazers, go! Now, I haven't played a dinosaur specific deck yet. Huh, they didn't block with the firebrand, they just left themselves to left themselves dead. Trailblazer has that other activation ability, give it plus one plus one until in a turn for each elemental you control. We have three elementals. I couldn't cast the fight with fire first and still have that activation activation up, so I wanted to just 
attack first, see how my opponent blocked. Um, if they would have double blocked, I think I, I would have just let like the damage happen, and then I would have cast the fight with fire second main on like the the token for the phoenix to not not let them get that token back. So think if the deck has Risen Reefs instead of Overgrowth Elementals, it wouldn't need Frenzies in the sideboard, and this could be more interaction. Here. Um. A619. Both dinosaurs, new ones. I I played a lot of the black dinosaur. Uh, I liked the we played a, a Golgari Stompy deck yesterday. If you missed that with the black dinosaur, I haven't played the red dinosaur yet. I haven't played a Marauding Raptor, but we played Rotting Regisaur quite a bit. I mean, this is just the matchup. The Brontodon's got to be in our sideboard for this. Let's bring that in. Um, All right, let's play a fight with fire. A frenzy. No, I'll just play one fight. The Neoform Elemental deck we played a few days ago, it didn't do too well for us. Um, but we definitely see some of the power of these elementals. All right, got to draw another land. This is a pretty good looking hand, though, if we do. Glad to have you here, though, Dr. K. I have not, Chan. No, I haven't. We're hoping we get to untap with the Overgrowth Elemental, and I can play Little Chandra, make some Elementals. Looks like they'll be doing some Steamkin stuff here. I guess I probably need some more interaction in my deck. Or like in, in hands I keep, sorry, that's what I mean. Like like in hands I keep. Can't really imagine we survive here, but who knows. If they have all lands in hand, which they haven't played land, so I can't I don't see them having all lands in hand. Maybe they have two four drops they can't cast right now. 
They attack me for five, and they ignore this Chandra. No. And then I could play the Overgrowth Elemental plus the Chandra next turn, gain some life. Do I want Spell Pierce here in this matchup? Maybe I do, actually. Spell Pierce actually does sound pretty sweet. Hmm. Having our creatures alive fighting something else with Domri doesn't doesn't really seem realistic. Yeah, Spell Pierce could actually be really good. Um, what happened last time Matt put me up to playing Reanimator? I think I just... I lost to Esper a couple of times. The deck was pretty cool, though. Esper's just really strong. <laughs> yeah, we just played Golgari Stompy yesterday. For I, I, I play different decks basically all the time. I don't, I don't hardly ever play a deck in on back-to-back -back days because I, I play so many decks. In fact, since. Since M20 came out, which was on Tuesday, I haven't played any deck twice. Like, the Grixis Control that we're going to be playing later on is going to be the first deck that we've played a second time. We've played, I don't know, around 20 or so decks. All, all different. Maybe 30. I like trying trying to ha have you know decks for everybody kind of thing. Hmm. Chandra Nalar, Pyromancer Extraordinaire. We can do this together. If I play Overgrowth Elemental, it's certainly dying. There's no way I actually untap with Overgrowth Elemental here. So we're going to try playing the Chandra. See if we can un untap with the Chandra. And now it looks like we will. Now ne next turn play the Elemental and have it grow. Could also play the Omnath and kill the Chain Whirler. No, I should probably play this. Go get him, buddies. All right, now we cross our fingers and hope we get to untap with the Overgrowth Elemental here. With them having the Firebrand, it's pretty unlikely. It's very, very unlikely, honestly, but we're praying. Papa Croft, just the end of the videos I talk about, like if you watch the end of the yesterday's Aristocrat deck, I talk about things I'd like to kind of change with the deck. Walk it off, Chandra.
draw a land. Draw a land. Gross. Oh, they didn't attack with Steamkin. That's good. Okay. I couldn't double coil. All right, so we got to decline. Got to let them draw three. But now they don't have the steamkin anymore to be able to add mana, add like the three mana that they would have been able to. Hey, Dark Claw. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. Chandra, you need more control. Just let me burn. And I actually have the two mana available here. We learned our lesson. On, Chandra, you know, like spell. Daredevil, like the other Chandras, they all give you till like end of turn to cast the thing, but not this Chandra. The Chandra doesn't give you till end of turn. I don't really have anything to do with this one. I think I guess I just tick it up and do the whole plus two thing. <laughs> Time to turn but up I'm the heat. obviously not making this attack. I think that last song was Miss Murder by AFI, I believe, if I remember. Hmm. That Chandra's gonna be hard to beat. It's gonna be very hard to beat. Oh, or our, our opponent just had lethal. And they cast the light up the stage for no reason. They just actually just had lethal. And they had the four mana to play it. So like just by casting the light up the stage, they needed to hit a land to be able to still have lethal. They did. They didn't need the land. They 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 spent they spent the mana on the light up the stage that the land gave them. <laughs> hey, what's up, Dark Claw? Thanks for that resub there. Thank you very much. All right, get some hype boats in there. All right, so we went, even though we went three and two, we didn't really do that good. Uh, our, you know, our first win was, was a, uh, first two wins were helped by disconnection problems. Um,. It didn't feel like our deck was very powerful. Uh, it felt it felt a lot weaker than what other people were doing. Um, as we talked about at the beginning of the video with with the overgrowth elemental, you know, I, of course we talked about that a lot with the risen reef. I don't want to keep on harping on it or anything, um, but uh, it's good to try different cards and everything. But there there's. 
there's just no excuse to be playing this card over Risen Reef. The the power of Risen Reef, even even if you're trying to be aggressive, it's just it's it's way too good. There there's not really close. So like that's that's got to be in there. Um on, honestly I really wasn't very impressed with Domri. I could see if you want to if you want to keep Overgrowth Elemental, which I understand Overgrowth Elemental's fine. I wasn't really impressed with Domri at all. Our creatures aren't very big here. We don't really get to fight stuff very well. I think I would actually just take out Domri and put in and have Risen Reefs in there and keep some Overgrowth Elementals. Cause like basically all these creatures are small. You know, like one ones, three, two. Like we don't really have large creatures. And it's not like we really need the Domri's adding like the extra mana, especially if we're hitting more land drops with Risen Reef. But not playing Risen Reefs in the deck is just it's not acceptable. You got to have Risen Reefs in here. All right. Besides that, um, with Risen Reefs, you don't really need these Frenzies in the sideboard. Frenzy, not only do it doesn't play well with Risen Reef, but the deck will have so much more card advantage now with having Risen Reef. You, you really just don't need the, the Frenzies. Um, and that could give you some more room for some, some more interaction. Uh, I was not impressed with Fight with Fire. That was not a card I was impressed with at all. I I wouldn't play Fight with Fire. Either. And... Um, I think you'd just rather have like some, some Lightning Strikes, Lava Coils, that kind of stuff. I think probably just playing more Lava Coils in the sideboard... I did like I liked Melody and I, I liked the idea of Melody a lot. I think Melody fits this pretty well. Um, as you can tell, we don't have like just an abundance of blue sources, but fourteen really isn't that bad. Uh, but Melody against against some of those decks, really really liked that. Um, but uh, let's see, Strike could just be Coil main. Honestly, Coil is just really good. But it's basically either Coil or, or uh, Strike. I think I'd probably just play Coil. But yeah, I, I liked that. I liked having the, the melody over there. That was good. Um, maybe a couple of the other Chandras. Maybe a couple of those. Deck does need more... Removal overall. Get another coil in there. Yeah, I like that quite a bit more. Um, is that an, is that like enough stuff for mono red? I'm not sure. You know, like against like the other like mono red aggro, for example, uh, that we just played against. Is that enough stuff? I'm not sure. The Overgrowth Elemental and Omnath do do get to get out of hand, and that's the thing is like both of, so both of these cards work a lot. Like these cards are really powerful whenever you have a lot of elementals, but we didn't really have like we were just ran out of cards all the time. But that's what Risen Reef can just help us not only have more lands in play to cast more things, but also just more cards to actually cast where we can um, cast a few like elementals in a turn. You know, hit more land drops for Omnath, putting putting more counters on stuff and and so on. Stormkin Steamkin was pretty cool. It's fine. Scorch Splitter is, uh, you know, um, it was all right. It wasn't spectacular. It's it's not so, like, you know, the 1-1 body is not really going to be that good in other creature matchups. You saw us taking us out, taking it out a lot in other creature matchups. Uh, you know, Chain Whirler, wrecking this thing. Risen Reef is just so strong that you still play this even against Chain Whirler. And everything because it's not really about the creature. <laughs> Stormkin, Steamkin. I could see playing Chandra's Cat. That'd be over the Spitter. Chandra's Ember Kitty. Or the. I don't know. Like, that'd be going bigger, of course. They're trying to be aggressive, though, with the Spitters, and they were all right. 
There we go. Uh, Nissa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nissa, 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 good. Nissa, cool. Cool. Play Nissas instead of Chandra's. Yeah, I like Nissa. Play that against Control. Especially how you have the extra lands with the Risen Reef and stuff. Nissa, good. Um, but there we go. Yeah, this. We try to, you know, like the donation deck here was a more aggressive approach. Approach, sorry, on elementals. Um, standard is just like there's some really, really good aggressive decks in standard, and um, the decks in standard are are already like geared up towards trying to beat those aggressive decks. So our cards like Scorch Blitter, Stormkin, um, even Steamkin in this kind of build with more green and blue stuff. Are these cards like really strong enough to be like this is what you want to be doing in elementals? Probably not. It's the best elemental deck is probably more with the Leafkin Druid and Chandra's Ember Cat uh, for like your your two mana things and going bigger and having Nissas and all that kind of stuff. That's probably a better elemental deck. But it's good to try stuff out. You know, if you just if you don't explore the different parts of the formats, you don't really find that and everything so uh yeah good good to try different things um so there we go that's elemental aggro the stormkin steamkin special i think that's what i'll name the deck all right so if you're watching the video on youtube hope you enjoyed it um and uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there but thank you so much for watching elemental aggro and i will see you for another deck